Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good girl. This is where Juno sits for Drop Eats his dinner. Juno, leave him. She'll just sit there and watch him because she really wants to eat it. But she knows if she goes and eats it, she'll get in big trouble. That's the only time that we've seen Robert properly snatch at her. The second day we had her, she went to try and steal food out of his bowl. And he, he just went a bit nuts, but that's understandable. So look at this. This is the solution. She just sits and waits while he finishes. Good boy. Get away from him. Get away. No, Juno. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to make herself as small as possible. I feel like a broken record, but she was a wee bit more naughty yesterday. Like she was really biting with malice. And then she did a poo in her crate overnight, which is not done since she was first here. But I think today it's going to be a good day. Can I just say thank you so much to the person that reminded me that dogs love carrots and that carrots are fine for dogs. Look at this. She's honestly been chewing on carrots, not even that much, for absolutely ages. And so is Droba. Droba loves a carrot. And for the wee cheeky bastard that said about a hairy carpet, you try having two German Shepherds and hoover in every half an hour. It's just going to happen. So basically what we're doing though, and I know this will hurt a few feelings because people have opinions about this carpet. Once Juno is fully toilet trained and everything, we are at Actually going to be changing this carpet out for the same floor that's in the office so it's really nice dark wood tartan stairs will stay but we're going to have a wooden floor in here and we're going to get a nice big rug for the dogs so they don't slip about everywhere and it's going to be so much easier to clean when it's the wooden floors it kind of goes into the corners and gathers so you can just get a wee hoover and just hoover it up so that's the plan i am getting a wooden floor in here give me a break hello i'm just shutting up shop and making sure I'm ready because tomorrow morning my amazing dad is um, picking me up at 4am. <laughs> we're getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I say we, it's actually just me. And then we're going to go and pick up Charlotte. And I'm so excited because we are going on a little girls trip. Me and Charlotte. A little girls trip to Italy. And we're so excited. But we're going to eat pasta and drink wine and it's going to be amazing and yeah our flights our flights are super cheap and it's Ryanair so it's super early in the morning Um, I just remember I need to print off our boarding passes but I'm just getting ready we've like we've only got hand luggage it's just a super quick trip a couple of nights in Bergamo and it'll just be gorgeous and we're really excited today was a bit crazy work-wise I filmed this morning a really fun video for next week which I think you guys are going to really love. I loved filming it. I uploaded me and Mitchell's video. I uploaded me and Mitchell's pictures that we took together as well. I did other bits of work. It was just pretty non-stop all day. I woke up with the dogs, sorted her out. She had an accident in her cage. So I don't like saying her cage, it's her crate. Um, but she, she had a wee accident because we didn't stay up late enough. So she needed the toilet. So I felt really bad. So what we're doing tonight is we're going to go upstairs and watch a film, all of us together, uh, Juno as well. And then that means when we really are actually just about to go to sleep, We'll take her out the back and see if that helps. But she's been very good today. Less biting. She's starting to get my cues for when I'm telling her that she's hurting someone. She's starting to listen to me more, which is exciting. And yeah, she's, she's just been my little shadow all day. Had a nice bath, did my sheet mask. Skin's looking plump, looking fresh. And yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm excited for the next few days. Jack had his weekend away. He had a great time, which is so good. And now it's my turn. It's my turn to go away. Look at this. You're getting so big. In her ears, when she's sleepy, they're not up. But in the morning, when she's feeling a bit crazy, they're starting to stick up a bit. Rob was like, what are you doing? We're coming up in a minute, promise. I'm gonna get a wee satsuma, and then we're gonna go upstairs to our bed. At the airport, <laughs> look at that, pancake. And then I don't know how I ended up with a breakfast this big, but here we are, look coffee. Look, cheers. cheers. Okay, let's get, cheers. let's get fucked up. <laughs> what are the bloody chances? Five days ago it was 22 degrees and sunny, and now it's just like Scotland. It's cold and raining. Hello. We got to Bergamo, safe and sound. It is raining. Well, it was raining. It's a little bit better now. Our hotel is really cute. Look at our two wee single beds. Oh my god, that looks like a jail. It doesn't look like a jail at all. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Over here we've got the bathroom. We've got a proper good shower that's got jets that shit out the side, it's great. So we're only here for two wee nights and we're gonna go out and explore and get some lunch. A really quick story time. It's not really a story time. Basically, my dad said that, um, well, I read his text as he would be at uh, my house at four in the morning to pick me up. My mum knocks on my bedroom door. You've, you've slept in 
uh, and I absolutely freak out, get out of my bed, look at my phone and it's updating, so my alarms never went off. Um, it turns out my, they were there at quarter to three in the morning, 2.45am, because we actually had to be at the airport for four in the morning, so I had to phone Charlotte <laughs> and say, hi, are you awake? Great, we're coming. Because I got the times wrong, but we managed to get here fine. And our plane was quite quiet, which is great, but there's a few girls playing... Who does this? See, they were playing heads up, you know, the, the game with the phone. And they were so loud, and it was like half six in the morning. And we were trying to sleep, and we were playing a game. Good, good on you for having fun, but <laughs> don't do it around me in that time in the morning, please. Good morning. I'm a bit tired. I'll be back in a second. Hello! Um, I've got an apology to make. I forgot the camera today. I'm very sorry. We just had a really nice day wandering around and eating. Bergamo was really cute. It's really, really nice. The coffee here is the best. We came back just to get a quick sit down. We had a couple of emails to send. Um, and now we're going out for dinner. And we're really excited because we've actually not been to the top town. So Bergamo is basically the lower town and the upper town. And you get a funicular up, which is like a cable car. So we're going to go. We're going to get a glass of wine so we're just going to slowly wander it's like a 15 minute walk which is great our hotel that we booked is actually so cute i absolutely love it and um, the manager at the hotel as well is just the biggest sweetheart she couldn't be more helpful obsessed. so obsessed with her yeah we just really loved it it's really cute i would t i would totally come back here even though i've been here before when i was younger and i can't remember <laughs> yeah we're going to go for a nice dinner we're going to wander along it's like a 16 minute walk from here so we're just going to wander and stop off for a wine halfway because you know tired basically what i've realized is italian food that we're all used to like spaghetti bolognese and all that um, it's all quite westernised and in Italy each kind of province or each area is so proud of their food and it's they all say oh this is very typical of Tuscany this is very typical of Bergamo so uh, this pasta for lunch I actually think I might get it again tonight it's like pasta parcels basically but it's just really good it's just really really tasty I love when you say that it seems like pasta the parcel pasta parcel <laughs> <laughs> managed to sleep oh I was sleep talking last night oh my god she was a freak right so first of all it was snoring that one that was probably about how loud was I snoring? I was insane. It was literally like <laughs> you're choking because you're like. <sighs> oh no! And then must have fallen asleep because I don't remember in between. And then wake up to you being like, no, 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 it's all right. The the closer you wear the bun, like the, the closer towards the front of your head you wear the bun, the better. <laughs> but it wasn't as if it wasn't like you're the closer you're like we sleep talk. It wasn't sleep talk. On, like the closer you wear the bun. <laughs> Uh, to the front of your head, the better. What? Jack does tell me that I sleep talk. Uh, I never obviously believe him. I'm like, you're. Well, I do believe him, but I just don't think it's that big a deal. But yeah, so apparently I was having a full conversation, pretty loud, about if you wear a bun on the top of your head, the closer to the front it is, the better. So imagine just me with a big bun here, <laughs> and that's what I was dreaming about. Someone tried to flirt with us. Two boys tried to flirt with us. And I, I'm not very cool and calm and collected because I've mentioned, you know, my husband really, qu really quickly. But I also thought that they thought we were quite young. When yeah. I said that I was 26, they were like... <laughs> so there's that. So we're going to go explore now. Again. Look how cool these streets are. This is actually the quietest bit of Bergamo we've seen. How ironic that you have to walk up a steep hill to then get further taken up a steep hill. Oh, now we're going downhill! I know this isn't my um, my usual forte, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a tech geek, but I highly recommend being on three mobile. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, they're great. <laughs> they are great because um, we can just use our phones like normal, wherever, wherever we go, apart from Morocco, Dubai and Canada and Japan. But everywhere else you can just use your phone like normal. Mm -hmm. So we can use our maps and all that, it's really good. I think we're just about there and then we're going to go in the funicular and I'm really excited because, yeah, I've done, I did this when I was like 10, 11 years old and I really can't remember it and then um, a little fun story <laughs> that speaks volumes about me is uh, the last time we were here I was really young and um, I can't remember anything apart from going for a big family dinner with all my family because we were all here at the same time um, and seeing a swatch watch on a shop window and crying my eyes out because my mum wouldn't get me it but I wasn't the biggest brat but that's cool that's a big brat move isn't it Charlotte's just told me that she doesn't actually like heights so that's fun it's not that high it's not off the ground or anything oh I think we have to wait Three minutes, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything from the trolley? <laughs> Reserve for the driver. Oh, <laughs> is it here? Cool. <gasps> oh my god. We just got off and I totally do remember this. I'm sure there was like a Punch and Judy show going on. I remember looking around. Oh, 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 oh. Is that Punch and Judy? No. <laughs> uh, Biblioteca. Look how cute these streets are. Little tiny little streets. Oh my god. Wow. Cakes. Like, so this is right at the top. And it's just a cute wee square. Look, oh, a child playing. <laughs> we walked in. 
Oh, a watering hole. Still playing. That's good. Yeah, it's just really cute. It's so nice and quaint. I actually think maybe we should go there for wine. While we're waiting on our drinks to get the little uh, guy just came over and asked me if I wanted a normal wine or a double wine. I was like, double wine. Funny story, I bumped into a lovely girl at the airport, but me and Charlotte were talking about, um, what's, it, what's it called? Alexa? Uh, it's not Alexa, it's, um, it's a song game. It's a song quiz. Song quiz. The so they play, it plays the start of a song and you have to guess it, but basically I, I, I was listening to the radio and they do the same thing, but like they speed up the song. So as an example, I started singing Adele set fire to the rain, but very quickly. So I said, I'm set fire to the rain. And then that's obviously what when the, the lovely young lady comes and taps my shoulder and you must think I'm on absolute wind thing. I say hi uh, to the rain. <laughs> in the middle of Witherspoons. In the middle of Witherspoons. Um, also, something to note, <laughs> we're sitting right, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we can't tell if there's someone playing music. What's that kind of music called? I don't know, it's like Pavarotti though. It's like Pavarotti, but we can't tell if someone's playing it. Well, that's someone laughing. <laughs> we can't tell if someone's actually playing the music or if someone's actually having a sing song <laughs> and if someone's having a sing song that's quite a special italian moment okay. i just love it here even when it's cold it's just great we're gonna have a nice drink then we're gonna get some nice dinner and then we're gonna continue having just nice drinks another amazing thing about italy is when you get drinks you always get all those crisps and nuts and they've just given us free pizza so i just don't think we have to go for dinner anymore we can just sit here and get fed that's kind of like last night wasn't it <laughs> oh, no. okay, right <laughs> yummy i'm hungover I think I drank too much wine. Yeah, I can't drink wine if I have. Literally, see if I'd have been a sip of your wine after doing it, I feel it. Yeah. What's it that's in wine that makes you... Sulfates. Sulfates. We had the best time though. Yeah, it was so good. Wasn't it fun? Yeah. The burger was great. Um, it's and so it, nice, isn't it? Yeah, and I didn't remember, I can't, I couldn't remember being here when I was younger until we went to the old town which is up the funicular and I remembered it straight away and I even remembered sitting and watching Punch and Judy. And you text your mum and dad as well. And I text my mum and dad, I was like, Am I, have I lost the plot? Or why, like, I remember punching Judy and they were like, No, you remember it right. It was great. Tell me, caught your first. And then we went, Yeah. Back. Really nice dinner. That we went like, for a really nice dinner at really cheesy. De, de Mimo. Yeah, both. <laughs> it was really cheesy. <laughs> we got back to the hotel and we were settling down oh. for like 12. <laughs> <laughs> we were settling down for like 12, 12 o'clock, right? And we'd been in and I was having a shower. It was actually like a. a like yeah, we had a bit of a water fire. Like this for sure. Anyway, <laughs> got our jammies on. We were in bed. We were watching a zombie film. Not my fave, but. <laughs> We were just chatting, but we've got quite loud voices yeah. anyway. And then um, someone knocked on our door, and we both just went like that. <laughs> and we didn't do anything, we just waited until they went away. And then I realised I'm 26 years old, 25, 26, and we're getting in trouble getting our door chapped. Ridiculous. Think, I know, we think it's a person as well because they never said it, as in like a person in a room, yeah. not a staff member because they never said it. You have not, like a. Yeah. We've actual both of us like that though. All in all, a really lovely two, uh, two and a half days. No, two days really, because today doesn't count really. Oh, no. Two days, just a wee quick trip. I, I'm really excited about seeing my puppies. Oh, I know. I can't wait to see. I smell it. Well, but Juno will be over the wind because she shuts the never been away from me. Yeah. I oh know, I'm really excited. Hello, good morning. I feel a bit puffy today. What is new? <laughs> today, I'm on my way to get my nails done. You beaming at me? Not like normal. We're saying goodbye to the acrylics for a while. I've had acrylics pretty much non-stop since I was 17. My natural nails are actually in really good condition because I've been going to NAF and they really look after my nails. But I just want short nails for a while. Um, I want to be able to, to do things because when you've got acrylics or certain things you can't do, I really want to be able to use my hands to do makeup again. And yeah, I just want a little break from having them long. I also just think that it'll take less time getting them shorter. I, I don't know if that's going to be true or not, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to get my hands done and my toes done because this weekend, me and Jack are going to the BAFTA, Scottish BAFTAs, and I am giving an award to someone. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm a bit nervous because I have to say things in front of a lot of people, in front of a lot of um, actors. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we got 
going on a date day. We're just on our way to bowling because I have short nails. Look how cute they are. Maybe we'll actually win this time. Maybe I'll actually win this time. Actually, I've, I've beaten you before. Yeah, you beat me before in a team. You've never beaten me one. Yeah, I have. We're going bowling just for one game and then we're going to go over to East Kilbride and go to the cinema Doctor Sleeps Out today which is the sequel to The Shining. Um, I think it kind of makes up for yesterday Halloween being so crap. We get to go and see a scary film tonight. Yeah, we watched the show called Creep Show. Creep Show. It was based on the 1982 film of the same name, and it was a load of garbage. It was shit, wasn't it? Yeah, unfortunately. Whose choice is that? Yeah, it was my choice. Yeah, it was your choice. Threw some makeup on for you. To look nice for our date. I've done my hair as well for you. Look all these bags just to be one. I know. Pardon? Yeah, uh, yeah, we make videos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't face that when you're the camera. Quite, quite a handy way too. Why we make videos? <laughs> I just asked for the bumpers up when I got told I was cheating. They are cheating. Cheating. Uh, yes, the bumpers are like. They're not coming back. This is my favourite part about bowling. Twenty piece sweet machine. <laughs> oh, oh. How many did you get for 20p? We get 1, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. 2p. Depends a skittle. 2p a skittle. Where's my You can have two. Orange. A wee bit more power on that would have been a strike. That'll do. Oh. Yeah, big stupid heat. <laughs> right, come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. Get out my way. Oh, 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 that's it. Oh, oh one. <laughs> I didn't count because it bumped against the front. <laughs> camera was turned off. I got two strikes. Two As strikes in a row. I'm doing absolutely shocking. But Jack's doing two in a row strikes. Let's go. Oh fuck. Go. No. Yep. Three in a row. Very good. Very smug. Such a gracious winner. Such a good shot because that's the last. Because that's the last one. Three in a row. Look. Three if I get four in a row. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so second part of Jack and Jamie's day of fun, we are in Chiquitos and look at the spread. Look at that, I'm upset, don't go first! <laughs> look at those two good dogs. Do you know? Nothing crazy exciting. Oh, hello. Look how tired. Oh my god! <gasps> We've literally been here for about an hour. Already got meats and cheeses. Nice. I feel asleep. I just woke up. That's my darling. Oh god. Oh, good dog. Oh. <laughs> Scream if you want to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't go again. Oh, someone. <laughs> someone just saw me do that. 